The Minnesota Fighting Vikings were one of the worst teams against the run last season. 27th in the league. There's only 32 teams in the National Football League, allowing 2,151 yards rushing right in their face. Teams imposed their will, moved the line of scrimmage, and they also allowed 19 rushing touchdowns, including six to Alvin Friggin Kamara on Christmas. Hey, nice present. You, you got, a, a, you got a, a stocking full of coal and feces. Hey, thank you, Vikings. Uh, a big reason why is because they did not replace Michael Pierce. Now, Pierce was a big-time free agent signing coming over from Baltimore. Nose tackle to replace Linval Joseph, who they just let go. Three-year, $27 million deal was going to be that one tech, going to be that man in the middle and just get after it. But unfortunately, COVID hit. He was a high-risk opt-out. Understandable. Uh, big dude, plus he has asthma. Understandable. Uh, Vikings did nothing to replace him, and it showed. I mean, the roster got shredded. They were soft in the middle, but Michael Pierce is back with a vengeance. I think he took 2020 personally because that's his squad. That's his new team, and then just, they just getting shredded like that. So he is putting in that work. Uh, he is going to be back, and he's ready to be a force uh, in the middle for the Vikings. Uh, pain Train Fitness. Daphne, Alabama, just across the bay from Mobile, uh, Pierce's hometown, uh, put out a hype Michael Pierce workout video. And I love it. Oh, but first, hold on. First, we need to get uh, a Vikings Michael Pierce jersey. Like, I understand the Ravens were his first team. I get it. But now, like, this will not stand. Michael Pierce, 97, purple. Let's get that thing going. But, I mean, start off right away. So this hex bar deadlift, man. So if these are all 45-pound plates, which they, they look like it, the inside ones look like bumpers. So that's 495 pounds. Plus he got that chain. Woo! He is moving earth. I love it. I love it. Let's go. Yeah. Mm. I mean, this is six foot, 345 pounds. The pride of Sanford University. Pat Williams 2.0. Lynn Vaughn Joseph 9.0. Vikings going to get it. He's got some moves, man. And I, I said this after we watched back some of his Baltimore tape when he first signed with the Vikings, that he only has three and a half career sacks, but I think the Vikings are going to use him more as a pass rusher than he, he's been used before. Like, he is more than just a, a two-gapping run stuffer, uh, more than just a guy. Oh, look at this. Woo. Hand fighting. Let's go. It's not it's not quite Aaron Donald with the hand knives, but it's up there. Oh, he's got the Onnit kettlebells. Uh, promo code ROGAN for 15% off your entire order at Onnit. Let's go. I love it. Plus, I, he, 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 he might get three and a half sacks week one against the octogenarian Aaron Rodgers. Just putting down 12 like you should do uh, with the older people. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. I have 345 pounds of Samford University on me. Woo! You like it. Uh, Michael Pierce is going to be uh, like, like that jabroni who fixes the boat with tape. Was, was it flex tape? Yeah. Michael Pierce is going to be that guy for the Vikings run game. That's a lot of damage. We'll fix it with flex tape. Michael Pierce is that guy. I can't wait, man. I, I, I'm excited because adding girth in the trenches should be a, an offseason priority for the Vikings, both on the interior offensive line and the defensive interior line. You, you need that three tech next to Michael Pierce, but Pierce is right to rock and roll, man. I'm pretty fired up. And getting Daniil Hunter back, getting Michael Pierce back, that's... I mean, that's like landing two major free agents who are revved up, ready to go at the peak of their position. So you're not going to be able to move them. It's great about Michael Pierce. So he's going to be that guy at that zero and one tech in front of Eric Kendricks. And just think about how much easier Eric Kendricks' life is going to be. Oh, every single running play, I don't have to deal with guards in my face right away. Oh, I can scrape freely. Woo! Uh, imagine how much better 54 is going to be with 97 in front of him. Can't wait, man. And there was some concern because, you know, it's very easy during COVID. All of us, you know, we put on a couple pounds where a 345-pound nose tackle, could he become a 400-pound nose tackle? And how good is that for anyone? Probably not great. But Michael Pierce, respect, man. He's putting in that work. He's looking great. And I can't wait. I can't wait to get him into Egan, TCO Performance Center, Bar and Grill, training camp, tearing things apart, lining up opposite of Garrett Bradbury and hopefully Landon Dickerson, and let's go. Let's go. Stop the run, get them the third and long, and then let Mike Zimmer do his damn thing. Double A-gap look. Uh, Daniil Hunter coming off the edge. DJ Wanham, maybe Quiddy Pay. I don't know. I'm just throwing out ideas. Bringing the heat on the opposing quarterback. Let's go get it done. But uh, your thoughts, Michael Pierce. Yeah, hyped. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Want to support that work? Pull something the Venmo. But until next time, Skull.
production value.